Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is February the 18th, 2021, and here we are today giving you all the update price prediction for Palantir. You guys can see from our last prediction that we expected the market in Palantir to go lower in price. So from what occurred over the last couple of trading days, everyone has been doing videos of being surprised about the market going lower. Well, we expected it to occur. Now, before I go into that, and before I go ahead and give you all our updated price prediction for Palantir, if this is your first time watching this particular video, make sure that you hit the like button, share the video, and also subscribe. You want to tap that bell notification as well, because honestly, we're here to make sure that we are in position to capitalize on price movement. So we have to predict where prices are going to go in order to capitalize from. So make sure you follow us. Now, here it is. You guys can see from our last prediction in Palantir, which was on... The 3rd of February, we anticipated the market in Palantir to go lower in price. Now, initially, I'll admit, you guys can see that the price did go higher in Palantir from our prediction. But it wasn't soon after that the market in Palantir actually came right back down to our expectations of seeing lower price. It just shows that we were a little bit ahead of the game. The market, in fact, went against us initially, I would say in the next three or four trading days, the market in Palantir did go against our forecast. But you can see in the grand scheme of things that the market, in fact, went to where we expected it to go right here on the earnings date on February the 16th. The market came and tagged out at our ultimate TP price, which is around 11.67% profitability. So the market was touched. The market was had on that particular day. Now, let's say you wanted to get out right now. OK, you could either have 11.67 percent or 19.68. OK, either way I go, profitability is profit is our whole goal to ensure that we take back the bag from the trap. He comes into the market and tries to take our money from us and it's vice versa. We're in the market just trying to take the money right back from him that he has taken. All right. So congratulations to those who was able to capitalize on that. Time to get rid of it and let's get back in position to capitalize on the next price movement. So here we are. We're going to look real quick. You guys can tell that we was tracking the market in Palantir of going higher in price, right? We created that ascended line you all can see on this video and something occurred recently. Okay, right here, something happened into the market for Palantir. The market broke the trend right there on the 16th, even on the 18th. I'm sorry, even on the 17th of February, the market in Palantir came and broke that trend. So we are not seeing the market in Palantir being an upward trend no more. If anything, this market is going to trade within a trading range. OK, the trend of higher price in Palantir is broken. I'm here to tell you all that right now. So let's go ahead and get rid of that line. And we're going to create a trading channel. OK, now that doesn't mean that the market in Palantir is not going to go higher in price at a later date. We're just transitioning over right now into the market in Palantir to see it trade sideways. That's it. OK, so this area, I would say around. Twenty three dollars and 70 cents, probably even a little bit lower. No lower than this particular area here, which is around $20, $21, has to be maintained as support in the market for Palantir. Okay. So the restriction area to the market in Palantir is still going to be around $30. So let's go ahead and create. $30 as the newest restriction area in the market for Palantir. So this is our training channel. OK, even though the support area is a little bit higher. Which is around. I could definitely see the trap trying to come into the market in Palantir and hold $23 and 25 cents as support. OK, I could definitely see that. 
but currently the trend is broken of higher price. We are now entering a downward trend. That is the current trend that the market in Palantir is in, but we're going to transition over into the trading channel that I've just created on this chart. Okay. So we still, as you all can see, we still have a little bit of weakness to go into the market in Palantir. So what we're going to do, we're going to anticipate the market in Palantir to go lower in price. But I want you all to see over the last three days. OK, look at the volume. Those last three days, the volume has been climactic and the spread of today is extremely small. So that tells us that there are buyers coming to the market in Palantir today. You guys can see it right there. Let me zoom in and show you all on the one hour chart. The volume definitely came through into the market in Palantir. Buyers came in right here around twenty five dollars and forty four cents in around that particular area. You should be able to see a little bit better here on the five hour chart. Well, what about on the seven hour? You can see it all there. So there's definitely a lot of emphasis of buyers going on in Palantir. Now, what about on a three day time frame, though? Three day time frame, you all can see that there is still weakness here being formulated on the three day price chart. But the spread of the market is extremely small. So that's why we're trying to emphasize to you, if anything, we're going to see this market cons continue to consolidate in between our two lines. That we've created or the resumption of lower price will continue. OK. So what do you all expect the market in Palantir to do? Over the next couple of days, because the market is still weak. We're going to continue to play that weakness, even though I'm already telling you that we are noticing that buyers are coming to the market. So we may actually see a small pump go on into the market in Palantir to increase price. But for the time being, we're going to continue to play this weakness, even though we are telling you today that we are seeing buyers step into the market. OK, we're going to play this in the long term. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. So now we already told you that $30 is restriction in the market in Palantir. We want to continue to expect that. And so long as price tr trades below $30, the market will continue to trade in this range and the weakness will continue. OK. And we're going to hold that ultimate area of TP right there around our support area, which is around uh, $21. OK. $21 and 20 cents. Give or take, which is about, let me zoom in real quick. That is about um, 17 and three quarters of percent profitability right there in order to see that market in Palantir come all the way down to our support area. All right. So this is our expectation. This is what we're seeing into the market in Palantir. What do you all see? Do you see something totally different? Let us know. Let everyone else know in our community where you are expecting price to be in the next week and a half. All right. Don't make it complicated. Our videos, our language analysis of the market is not complicated, neither. Simply tell us where would you TP or where would you take your profits at in the market in Palantir? And that's it. Make sure you maintain a profitability. And as always, trade different.